Welcome back to Empire Game Center. Today we're going to check out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rising Rampage set, which releases in official tournament stores today or worldwide tomorrow. Uh, we're looking for a card called Appaloosa. It's a secret rare, appeared to have some value to it. Not too sure what the other expensive cards are, but some highlights I saw are called Get Out, Fortune Lady Every, Marine Cess, Coral, Anemone, Witchcrafter Golem, I, don't, I can't pronounce it. Uh, Marine Cess, Marbled Rock, Shaman of the Tenyi, and Gizmek Orachi. All right, we're gonna put these here. We're gonna open up two boxes. We have some discount boxes on empiregamecenter.com. And we'll, of course, have a nice promotional rate in the physical store through the end of release weekend. Hopefully we get something cool here. All right, we got our first ultra rare. We got a fortune lady calling. Hope everybody had a good time at their sneak peeks last weekend. Let us know in the comments below if you opened up anything awesome or, or if there was a certain card that you were looking for. Uh, apparently this set has something called Prismatic Secret Rares. I have not seen one, but I saw that they are super expensive online, which is going to cause some tricky things. It'll be cool to open one. I want to see what they look like. Shaman of the Tenyi, if I remember, that was one of the cards we were looking for. Nice ultra rare. You do get a super and a regular rare in the pack, unless you get an ultra or a secret. It's always a nice, nice combination of getting a, a foil card as well as a regular rare as opposed to just a regular rare like it used to be. At least I think it used to be. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong game. All right, we got our first secret rare. We got a Marine Sass Marbled Rock. Not seeing anything special about that, so I'm gonna guess that's not one of the prismatic ones. First half of the box, go to the second. Slide these cards over here. It's back to starting to get a little cluttered. Sorry, I have to read some of these upside down and I, I can't pronounce them, so I'm just skipping a lot of them because I don't wanna I don't wanna butcher any of the names more than I already do. Alright, we got another ultra rare here. A spirit sculptor. Still looking for our second secret here. Usually two secrets per box on average. I've seen three boxes. I've seen zero, three three secrets in a box and zero in a box before. So it's it's hard to say what happens. There's the Fortune Lady Every. If I remember, we were, we thought that that was one of the better secrets to get in the set. 
Tuscaloosa appears to be the best one. But that could all change over time. Alright, in the last pack we ended up with a Boral Load Excharge Dragon. It's kind of cool. Alright, to review the first box, just gonna go through these cards here fairly quickly for you so that way, in case you missed anything, we can be reminded of what's hanging out there. Some rares. We won't review the rares though, just because usually it's not a lot of excitement in the rares. Right, box number two. Starting off with a secret rare. There's to be a lot of fortune ladies in this set. A lot of marine cesses also. Is it marine cess or marine cess? You tell me. All right, we got a get out. That one had a little bit of value last I checked. Found our first secret rare in this box. All right, we got a super. Got our first ultra rare in this box. Another spirit sculptor. Saw that one in the first box. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments below, who does the artwork for these cards, or is it just taken from a cartoon? I'm, I'm not a person who's familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, so if you can educate me on that, that would be awesome. Just curious where some of this comes from. So I'm not seeing any art credit on the cards. All right, another ultra rare. Morpheus, the Dream Mirror Black Knight. Say that one five times fast. All right, now last pack in that column. We got another super. So we're gonna head over to the other side. Cap Shell Secret. Still no prismatics. Some of you might be wondering, why am I not talking as much as I should? We got another Ultra Rare. The reason I don't talk as much is I don't personally play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I want to make the video less annoying for you. So, I'll just open the packs. to check out EmpireGameCenter.com. We do have some Rising Rampage booster boxes on there. Fairly competitive price. 
will ship pretty, pretty fast. We recommend you buy two boxes at once. They fit nicely in a flat rate envelope. And two boxes are always much more fun to open than one box. left. It's not looking good for the prismatic. One ultra rare. All right, come on, last pack. I just want to see what they look like. All right, no prismatics this time, but we got some cool stuff. Review the, the foil stack for you. Looks like a cool couple of boxes. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll have the product on sale at a discounted rate through the end of release weekend, so it'd be, it would be through July 28th, and then we'll go back to normal price after that. All right, have a good day, everybody.